hello and welcome back so in today's session I'm going to start with the service master so service master we also consider the master data so we need to maintain the service master so it's like consumable suppose if we want to use some procure some services internally or externally we use the service masters so let us see where this service master will be so you can see there is a logistic here then you have the material management and you can see the service master and remember one thing is that this uh, service master does not use goods receipt so it uses the entry sheet then approval then you can do the invoice so first you need to maintain the service master service then the code is ac03 that is service master so before this uh, we can do the configuration also to do this you have to type spro sap reference img scroll and you'll see material management under this you will have the external service management just expand this you'll see service master expanded then you can define the organizational status for service categories so organizational service category you have status as basic data controlling status mm sales and then description you can also create your new entry so let us take it as AB01 or you can say AB01 right then I need the basic uh, data then and then then this is the service for ABC hit enter save you continue this and back once again you click back now you can define the service category so click on this so you have uh, see many people have actually maintained air conditioning service construction service structural etc you can actually maintain the category so I'm going to maintain uh, the category say um, P T zero one and organization service category is AB01 and account reference is going to be 006 because reference for service and description I'm going to make it as painting service you can also type uh, for identification ABCS save this go back this represents external number assignment without check so if you want to assign any external number you can also click on it so for example if I click on this so you can assign the number for this so just save this back and you can also suggest the number ranges if you see these are the groups Similar to how you have created the material master, if you go and visit the material master record, you can also see the same configuration will be there. And uh, you have to create a group, then you need to assign the numbers if you want. Okay, so let me just create a group for ABCS service, and you can assign the number ranges for example if you see existing these are the number ranges available so this cross check marks means it's external okay so let me use um, here it is 8 7 6 3 2 3 thousand okay so let me use one series okay uh, 
it is going to be like this okay so just save this change is saved go back next find your service so you can see it's already available pt01 which we created you click on this and you'll see abcs which the number which recently i have created accept this it is assigned now it will start assigning that number each then these are the uh, field display for service mask if you want to enable disable the service this uh, fields display these are the number range for the service entry sheet okay that we will see in the when we do the service procurement so this much is enough right now so you can uh, go back now you can go to ac03 right and now you can see we need to create the service master so click new and activity number it says activity number uh, before that let us select the category which we have created painting service it will ask you to maintain the unit of measure say you can say activity unit okay or you can say if it is based on the hours you can just click hours please maintain a short description so it's a basically office painting advanced that means something complex uh, office painting then if you want you can remember or you just enter the activity number say a b c s And these are the basic data which group it is um, the same group which we you have used it to create the material master so you'll see there is miscellaneous there is service also uh, say I'm going to make it as services right if you want you can enter the division here it's valuation class so I'm going to use services 3200 if you want to enter any formula, you can enter here graphic, tax tariff, standard service category, time management, purchase data, everything you can maintain here. You can maintain, say, it is actually office painting activity advanced level. Okay. And then just uh, save this. So now it is saved. You can see this. It has been saved. And also you can see the description. ABCS1 activity. Short description is office pending advanced. Like this you can create uh, different different activities. If I say now created another one. So it is ABCS2. Right. Then you can say warehouse painting it is abcs hours unit of measurement is hours based on the hours we are going to consume this then as you said it's a service 3200 valuation class and you can say warehouse industrial painting okay you can also maintain if you want uh, these tabs can maintain service type etc etc time management purchase data you can see this is the uh, purchase data internal work long text etc so right now this much is enough like this we created the service master now you can see abcs2 and you have abcs1 so whenever you are going to create the purchase order for the service we can use these activities and procure the service so 
this is how we can create a service master because service master comes under master data it's a part of a master data so uh, this is the service master uh, session so i'm going to end the video here so if you like the video do uh, hit the like button share and subscribe to my channel thank you